Cristina Marsalich was born in Madrid on 30 September 1963 as a Spanish actress. Cristina debuted at age 13 in the television series, Mrs. Garcia Confesses, thanks to her father who was the director. Cristina went on to a film career with appearances in El Padero and Flujo de la Luna, Crime in the Family, The Sea and Time, and Last Night with Teresa. She also appeared in such television shows as Second Teaching and the second season of Chronicle of the Sunrise. These are my six best movies for Christina Marsalich. At number 6. Baracco, 1991. Examines the place of human emotions in the modern world of telecommunications through the relationships of Valeria, a student in fine art restoration. After leaving her boyfriend, a girl wanders for a few days meeting new people and experiencing new emotions. At number 5. Days of Inspector Ambrosio, 1988. A few days before his holiday, a usual bank robbery takes place opposite his house. Then a playboy dies in a car accident that points to murder. A timid violinist and his drug-addicted daughter were closely involved with the victim. Can he clear his desk in time for his break? At number 4. Marikic Express, 1989. A Spanish girl, Teresa, comes to Milan to meet Poncia, Marco, Paolino, and Cedro, who haven't seen one another in years. Her man, their old friend Rudy, is in jail in Marikic and needs help and money. The five decide to drive to Morocco to get him out of trouble. At number 3. Opera, 1987. When the diva of a daring production of Verdi's Macbeth directed by Marco has an accident, young opera singer Betty successfully replaces her. Soon a psychopath obsessed with Betty kills her boyfriend, the production assistant Stefano, her customer designer Julia, and her agent Mira. Inspector Alan Santini, who is her fan, gives her protection, but the murderer always gets close to her. Who might be the killer? At number 2. Every Time We Say Goodbye, 1986. An American pilot in Jerusalem during World War II falls in love with a Jewish woman while he is recuperating from a serious injury. At first, he resists the intriguing Mediterranean beauty, but soon becomes locked in a powerful love affair that goes against the grain of heritage and tradition, causing friction in her family. At number 1. The Trap, 1985. Story of a man who in the past seduced a young girl and then left her. He meets the girl years later and they make love again. He wakes up to find himself tied to the bedpost. The woman is mad and has set a trap for him. Both the woman and her daughter keep him tied up. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.